What's interesting is that an average American consumes 53 pounds of bread every single year. Of bread. Of bread. Coach Greg on average consumes 180 pounds of bread a year. Coach Greg, and today the video is on Dr. Eric Berg. Some people have been saying, oh, he's not a real doctor. It doesn't really count. He's a chiropractor. Who cares? I'm not a freaking doctor. I'm a freaking circle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your name is. What really matters is does the guy give quality information or does it not make any sense? So I stumbled across a video called Bread versus potatoes, what's worse? Well, immediately it made me think of that video I made, what's healthier, rice or bread? The title could have been different. What's worse, bread or potato? Why not say which one's better? But really that's the same thing, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? So I had someone recently ask me a question, what's worse, bread? or potato. So what's worse, a bread or potato? I would have assumed everyone is gonna be thinking, well obviously it's bread, cause potato's a vegetable, blah, 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 blah. So let's see if I agree or disagree, or maybe we could just agree to disagree. No, I don't agree to disagree. I agree that you're a freaking moron if you don't agree with me. So let's see if he's a moron or if he knows what he's talking about. Instant potatoes really spike your blood sugars fast because you're heating and processing this potato down to this tiny little wafer-like particle. So when you boil it or cook it, you're getting a, a very fast spike in blood sugars. That starch is completely broken down. 97. Now glucose is 100. So that's just how fast your blood sugar is gonna rise. The higher it is, it can kind of cause up and downs in your blood sugar, and it's better to be kind of more stable in your energy levels, okay? And obviously it depends if you're doing a bike race or something, it doesn't really matter the same way. But in general, we want lower glycemic index type foods. So then he goes on and compares different types of potatoes, whether it's boiled, baked, or raw. Now, if it's raw, it's gonna be really low on the glycemic index, but who the heck is eating raw potatoes? He says, yeah, you can eat as much as you want of raw potatoes, but really you can't. We all know calories in, calories out. You can't just eat as much as you want, but he's just trying to say, look, Eat as much as you want because it's super healthy, but no one's gonna like it. No one's gonna eat a whole bunch of raw potatoes. Baked or boiled, it's gonna get it down into the low 80s. Yes, 82, 84, which is okay, but is it gonna be worse than the bread? The more you cook the potato, the worse effect it has on your blood sugars. Well, that's true, but is it really, really that bad? Well, 80 something is in fact quite a high score, so it is gonna spike your blood sugar quite a bit. Not as much as glucose, but it's still relatively high. If you consume a raw potato, you're gonna be pretty much good to go. In fact, I'm gonna tell you right now, you can eat as many raw potatoes as you want. Okay, but of course, who's gonna eat raw potato. They taste terrible. When's the last time you ate raw potato? I ain't eat no raw potatoes. It's not good. You're not going to like it. So it's pointless. So eat as much as you want. But remember, you can't break the laws of thermodynamics. We obey the laws of thermodynamics. You eat too many calories, even if it's a raw potato, even if it's a low glycemic index food, you still going to gain weight. So it doesn't really freaking matter. It doesn't matter how it makes you feel. Now, what about a sweet potato? Do you know how many freaking idiots out there think that sweet potatoes are some magically delicious food? Do you know how many fr Man, I'm screwing up this video so much. It sucks. Do you know how many freaking idiots out there think that sweet potatoes are somehow magically healthy? I didn't plan this freaking morning. Question was, list healthy foods that you like. Sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries. Fries, oh yeah, deep fried sweet potatoes. That's so healthy. Come on, people. What's next? Chips are healthy because it comes from a potato. No, it's not freaking healthy. See this word sweet right here? It has three times as much sugar. Oh my God, it's, it's got so much sugar. We can't eat sweet potatoes. It's like fruit, it's got fructose. You can't eat fruit, there's fructose in it. Do you know how much actual freaking sugars in sweet potatoes? Do you wanna know? Cause I'm gonna tell ya. In a typical potato, you know, like 100 grams serving, you know, around 80, 90 calories worth. Guess how much sugar? It's gotta be tons, right? Three or four grams of sugar. 
oh my goodness, I can't possibly allow myself to have three or four grams of sugar in a sweet potato. No, it's horrible. Never consume sweet potatoes. So much sugar in it. It's horrible. Come on, Dr. Berg, is it really that freaking bad? Oh, let's have regular potatoes. Why? It's got one gram of sugar. Should we be careful of one gram of sugar? How many of you eat freaking cereal for breakfast? You ever seen how much sugar's in a Fruit Loop? You ever drank freaking pop? There's certain things you need to worry about in life. And the sugar in a sweet freaking potato is not one of them. Definitely don't do the sweet potato. Cross out that sweet potato. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, just eat french fries. French fries are way more healthy than sweet potatoes because there's less sugar in them. Does that make any sense, people? No, eat sweet potatoes if you want them and pronounce it the way you freaking want. Potato, potato, whatever you want to pronounce it. Ketchup, put some cats up on it. Put some ketchup, I don't care. Put some freaking low calorie shit on it for all I care. Just eat it if you like it. And I have a video on condiments that you can put that are low calorie, so be sure to watch that. People think that whole wheat bread is so much better. It's virtually the same on the glycemic index 74. Boom, I agree with Dr. Berg. Bread, we're on the same freaking page. Everyone thinks, oh, it's whole wheat. It's so much healthier than regular white bread. Oh, it's so much better for you. It's almost exactly the same on the glycemic index. So it starts right off the bat. Boom, I'm gonna be a fan of this guy soon. White bread, regular ass bread is what it's called. White bread is called regular ass bread. He's mispronouncing the bread. He's calling it white bread, he mispronounced it. I mispronounced potato. It's called regular ass bread. No big deal, I forgive him for saying the name incorrectly. But look at that. This is actually lower than potato. And guess what? It's lower than potato. It's a potato. But anyway, it's lower on the glycemic index than the potato. So, so far, bread is winning. Bread is winning. French toast for the win so far. This would be worse, but bread. Boom, right there, he's pointing to bread. Right there, this is worse. And remember, we're comparing bread to a freaking vegetable, not to a French fry, to potatoes to a vegetable. Bread is beating a vegetable right now. Many times, especially white bread, it has bleach in there, which destroys your vitamin E. Oh, the bread has bleach in there. Yeah, I'm sure they go in there with the bleach to wash your clothes, and they put a bunch of bleach in there. It's probably gonna kill you in full of bleach. No, it's not gonna freaking kill you. You guys are thinking, oh my goodness, it's bleach. Oh, no, it's not some freaking major chemical that's gonna destroy your life. It's allowed, it passed FDA approval. They're not putting a bunch of bleach, the liquid laundry detergent. They're not using bleach in your bread. It's not the bleach, you're, just forget about what, think, you think bleach, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm going to die if I eat it. It's not gonna be a bunch of bleach that you're gonna freaking clean your clothing with. No, it's not the same thing. It depletes your B vitamins, especially vitamin B1. Yeah, I'm so stressed out over all those B vitamins. I need them in such abundance. Oh my goodness, I'm sure I'm deficient in B vitamins. Look, people, you're being pedantic if you're worried about such little tiny things, little tiny details. You find me one food on this planet that doesn't have anything negative about it in any way, and I'll show you water. And water is not technically food. And if you show me water, you're gonna say, oh, it's got these chemicals in it. It's got this, it's got that. Oh, you can't drink water. Every single thing in this planet is not good for you if you wanna say, oh, it's it good for you or bad for you. If you wanna find and dig, every single food is gonna be bad for you. A banana, an apple. Apples keep the doctor away. Oh, it's got so many of these pesticides. It's got this in it, it's got that in it, and it's got fructose. It has fructose, so obviously it's going to kill you. It was in the sun, it probably absorbs UV rays from the sunlight. And if you eat it, you're probably gonna get skin cancer. You'll find research to support it somewhere. Whole wheat, you're gonna have phytates in the brand. Phytates or phytic acid will block zinc. Oh, it's got phytates, go block zinc. I probably am gonna be zinc deficient if I eat bread. No, I'm not. Stop worrying about every micro detail. And then you have the gluten, the protein in wheat. Oh, gluten, the end of us all. 
Do you guys see that episode? What the heck's that show? Cartman and... Because I like to be kissed before I get... No, King of the Hill, Cartman. Not a bioweapon, just harmless flower protein. Gluten is not the devil. I forget the cartoon that was on. If it's not dangerous, then eat that pure concentrated gluten, okay? Do you know how much extra work it is when I do gluten-free plans for clients? Oh my goodness! Oh, it's inflammation! Ah! Stop worrying about every single thing! You worry so much about the minor things. People spend 90% of their time worrying about the minor 10% of things that'll impact their life. And they forget about the 90%. Go for a freaking walk. Going for a walk will do more for you than worrying about every little detail about, oh, is it gonna hurt the amount of zinc I can absorb? Is this vitamin B1 gonna be sufficient for me? Oh, but you won't go to the gym. You won't go for a walk or do some exercise. You won't go to bed on time and sleep and you won't eat healthy. Bull, oh, but I'm worried about the white bread or the whole wheat bread and what's in it and it might freak me out and kill me. Bleh. No, stop thinking like that. So he's saying, oh, if you eat bread, the blood sugar, it might not spike immediately, but two or three hours later in the future, it might. What are you talking about? You're worried about a blood sugar spike as if it's the end of the world? Go for a freaking walk, burn off, eat a little bit less of it. Instead of eating nine slices of bread, have six. Instead of three, have two. Spread it out. Instead of eating plain bread on its own, you ever heard of the glycemic load of a meal? That's the total impact that the meal has on your blood sugar. Instead of just having plain bread, have French toast. It'll be full of egg whites. Maybe have some fruit. Yeah, it has fructose in it, so what? Maybe have a variety of foods. Maybe eat from all food groups. Maybe eat fats proteins and carbs you ever heard of variety are we not allowed to have a freaking balanced diet anymore does it always have to be no fat no carbs carbs before midnight oh, i need my macros in before midnight well what are we all talking about just eat a balanced freaking diet people so with potatoes we got an instant spike but with things like pasta we got a delayed spike what are we playing volleyball? Why are we spiking all the time? Can we bump? Can we do a volley? What's going on? I like serving. I don't need to spike. I'm too freaking sure I can't jump over the net. Spike this, spike that. I'm sick of spiking. I heard too much spikes already for one video. Imagine I came up with that off the top of my head. What am I even thinking here? What's interesting is that an average American consumes 53 pounds of bread every single year. I'm gonna figure out what Coach Greg consumes. This should be interesting. Give me some time. Every single year. What's going on? 53 pounds of bread. Of bread. Of bread. In this house, we obeyed a large of thermodynamics. It doesn't matter what you think. Of bread. Of bread. Coach Greg, on average, consumes 180 pounds of bread a year. Does it look like it's hurting me? Does it look like I'm negatively impacted? I'm consuming over three times what the average American is. Maybe it's because I'm from Canada. I eat so much more bread than the USA. I don't know, but it ain't hurting me. Well, he's trying to decide which is worse. He's like, well, the potatoes, it's going to cause more of a blood sugar issue. But, well, the bread is going to problem with gut inflammation, a B vitamin deficiency, and maybe zinc deficiency. So I don't know which one's better or worse. He's trying to decide. Let's see what the final conclusion is. But other than that, I think it's perfectly healthy. And I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> he's like, well, but other than that, it's perfectly healthy. So he says, which is really worse? So he says, well, the potato's going to cause your blood sugar spike more. But on the other hand, bread is going to be bad for your gut inflammation. It's going to be deficient in maybe B1 vitamins and maybe a zinc deficiency. But other than that, they're perfectly healthy. And, oh, I'm being sarcastic, you know, I just, you know, I'm joking around. I was pretty freaking obvious, but maybe he had to point that out. I don't know. I thought that was pretty freaking comical as he's saying, you know, oh, it's got to be, uh, yeah, you know, other... what did he even say? I don't remember what he said. But other than that, I think it's perfectly healthy. And I'm being sarcastic. So I thought that was a funny way to end it, as if it wasn't obvious from what he was saying. So basically he says, they both suck donkey balls. What does Coach Greg think? They're both fine. Eat them in your diet. 
Imagine what Abby Sharp would say. Stop vilifying food. What a horrible human being, Dr. Murray. He's saying, oh, it's not good for you. You can't say that. All foods are good for you. All of them. Just eat as much as you want and love yourself. What does Coach Greg say? Eat it in moderation. You're allowed to eat normal food. You can. Don't eat too much of it. Don't binge on stuff. Calories in, calories out. If you're in a deficit, you're gonna lose weight. If you're in a surplus, you're gonna gain weight. If you're in maintenance, you're gonna maintain your weight. Does that sound like rocket science? Now, obviously, the glycemic index can be impacted by what else you add to a meal. It's called a glycemic load, and not the load you're thinking of. The glycemic load is how much the overall impact of the meal has. Rather than thinking potatoes, I can't have that because high glycemic. Or I can't have bread because, ooh, zinc deficiency, ooh, B1. Try eating a variety of foods. Maybe some other foods that have zinc and B1 in it. Maybe some other foods with the potatoes that don't freaking absorb as quick. Some fiber, some fat, some protein. Oh, shock, you're allowed to have variety in a meal. When's the last time you ate just potatoes for freaking meals? Probably not very often. Have potatoes with vegetables. Have it with freaking French toast if you want. Have it with some protein. Mix it all together. And when it goes into your stomach, your stomach doesn't think, ooh, bread. Ooh, it's potato. It's going to blood sugar spike. No, it thinks, wow, a mix of potatoes, cucumbers, broccoli, spinach, pasta, chip, and a whey protein shake all in there at the same time. I'm going to do what I need to do with it. Your body is better than you think at this. It's had potentially millions of years to adapt to this. It knows what to do to survive. You're allowed to eat a potato. And no, it doesn't have to be raw. It can be raw if you want, but you're also allowed to cook it. You're allowed to like your food. You don't have to avoid anything. You can eat it all in moderation. That's the key, moderation. Make sure you like it. Add some freaking condiments to it to make it taste better. Balance out your meals, eat a variety of different foods, and make it taste good that you can enjoy. So basically he was saying, look, bread, potatoes, about the same thing. Not a freaking big deal. He's saying they're probably not both good to eat. He's saying you shouldn't eat either from the sounds of it. I'm saying, so what? You can eat whatever. Are we gonna agree to or disagree? No. Am I gonna call him a moron? No, because he was just saying what he thinks and it's not really different than what I think. He's saying they're both bad. I'm saying, nah, they're not the best things on the planet. It could be worse, it could be better. Whatever, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think. Greg Doucette.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IFB Pro. Follow me on Instagram. Watch these videos. And I know they're further than I'm pointing, but they're over there. And until next time, I am out.